Hi guys, welcome back. This week, I'm gonna show you guys how to adjust the valves on an early 90s Honda. This is, particular vehicle is a 93 Del Sol. Um, oh. <laughs> yeah, I have help. So, we'll just, we're just gonna jump into this here quick and make this as painless as possible. First thing you're going to do is turn your steering wheel the whole way to the left to open up the gap in here. And then you're going to put your 17 millimeter on the end of your crank bolt. And I'm using a half inch drive ratchet. Uh, and I also put a mark right here so I can visually see when I'm getting close <clears throat> when I'm outside. It's not mandatory. I just did it just to make sure everything was good. And then when you get in here, what you're going to want to do is take your valve cover off. It's simple. It's like five, five bolts. And then you're going to take your upper timing cover off. And that's going to show you your upper cam gear. And it says up right here. I don't know if you can see that or not. And then there's two marks. One's on to the left and one's to the right here. And those marks, you're lining up with this plane of the head and that's when you know that you have it set on top dead center on number one to adjust it all you're gonna need is a wrench your feeler gauge of whatever your specific model calls for mine calls for 12 plus or minus one on the exhaust valves It'll be 12 thousandths and then the intake is 10 plus or minus one on the intake valves. So just remember, these are pretty simple. Your exhaust is here. These are all your exhaust valves. And then there's two per cylinder. And then this of course is your intake. I'm sure you guys know that. But anyhow, all you need is a screwdriver. And then what you'll do, I mean, of course, I, this one's good, but you just get a slight drag going in. That's how I've always done mine, like this. So, you get a slight drag. Um, let's just, I'll adjust it out so you can see what's going on here. See now, when, when I put it in, it's too loose. It's not dragging at all. So then you just, these ones I can just turn by hand and get a little bit of drag on it then. And then I, Usually just snug, snug it up with my wrench and then check and make sure it's good. And then I'll come back and I'll follow with a torque wrench and I will torque all those to 14 foot pounds on this vehicle. Some cars are only 10. You have to check and see what your specific model of Honda engine is. So there's a little variation there. Apparently these studs are thicker on these uh, this is a, a Z, Z6, uh, so uh, it's the single overhead cam with your VTEC solenoid there. So When you have your lines set up on the plane of the head with up, that means you can do number one. You can do all four valves on number one. Then you can come down and you can do the intake on number two, which will be your next set of valves. Then you'll drop down two more to number three, and you do your exhaust valves. And then that's it. And then you'll have to spin the crankshaft 360 degrees, and then line these two lines back up with the up on the bottom of the cam, cam gear instead of on the top. Sorry if that was in your way. So um, I'll go ahead and do that real quick, and you can see what I'm talking about. It's not hard. Uh, especially in these higher mileage engines. Uh, I also put a mark on my extension so I know when I'm getting close. And once I get close, then I'll use the visual up here. So now, um, Pretty, 
pretty close here. Pretty close. All right. Yep, that's good. So now we have this line back up on both sides. Our lines, our reference marks, lined up with the plane at the top of our head where our valve cover sits. And since we just did number one, now we have number four on top dead center. So we can come over here at that point, do all four valves on your number four cylinder, which is on the passenger side of the vehicle. And then you'll drop down and do the intake valves on the cylinder next to it. And then drop down the next cylinder, which is two, and do the exhaust valves on that. So by the time you're done with that, you'll have all your valves done. And uh, the whole process uh, shouldn't take you any more than 30 minutes. Okay, now that we have our valves adjusted, I'm just going to put my upper timing belt cover on. Now is also a good time to check your tension. I actually just adjusted mine. All you have to do is loosen up, loosen up your bolt down there. You want to rotate your, rotate your uh, crankshaft clockwise. A couple turns, and that'll, and then, and then you tighten up the uh, the tensioner. There's a spring in there that holds against it. Mine was kind of, mine was kind of loose. I just put this belt on, and it's got like two or three thousand miles on it maybe maybe four uh, and it it was quite loose so I believe the valve train clattering that I was hearing may have been because of that I'm not sure but we're gonna find out uh, but uh, this all this stuff goes together pretty pretty simple here all right next is the uh, it's time to just slip the valve cover on the only thing that's even in the way a little bit is this um, vent hose, so or vacuum hose. I guess it's connected to the intake there. So we'll put it, put this on, and then there's one thing you have to watch, and that's these tubes that the spark plugs are in. You gotta have this lined up right, or you'll just cut the crap out of those seals. And I just replaced one. And I rather not have to change them again. So there's that. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's about it. And then just tighten up your bolts. So I won't bore you with this. Yeah, these are these seals are ignorant. Alrighty. Pop goes the weasel. There we are. Don't make fun of my bolt here. This is a home 80. Like that when I got it, so you'll have this. Thanks for watching this episode.